14 to 25, but can be reduced to 4 to 8 being under the effect of anti-poison. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna pre-pod this as soon as it comes out. Well, the man's username is no to fail, but he was doing his research so he wouldn't fail while doing Dragon Slayer 2 on his hardcore. He's up to the Mithril Dragon, and let's check out how he goes. Baby, baby, baby. I'm on fire at all. <gasps> I didn't see! And unfortunately, that's all it took. Down he goes. B, he finally got a little bit of taste for hardcore blood. And here's his final stats. A pretty established hardcore. G'day, legends, and welcome back to your daily old school RuneScape newspaper. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If you're not sub, drop a sub. We really want to get to 60,000. It just looks so much better. Let's get back to the video. Tower was sending a duo raid with someone with a very sus name called Sniff Ray. Oh. <laughs> Always very nice to see the Tivo, especially when Tao already has one on his Iron Man, so it wasn't like he was missing out on pulling it or anything like that. Bro, I told you I'm a spoon. Now, you may have seen this one floating around, but Two Beans made a super cool edit of him maging some scorpions in the wildy. Magic Fang number four. That is, that's it. No more Magic Fangs needed. Another day, another Zora item for Alfie. Good luck, fellas. EV Scapes just finished a 1 plus 22 solo, and you can see the total points there 444,000. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Enjoy 99 Hunter, you loser. And a 1 plus 22 solo would take a very long time. Luckily for him, it paid off receiving 10.8 mil. And I remember the flower era. I was offered 6 billion GP and a general in Dragon Dice, which is by far the best one at the time. And I remember when an R a content creator called RS Little Village, he basically made a video and created a fish, a, uh, a flowering clan called YouTube Flowers. And he's there like, yeah, man, I just want to bring the community together and all that. And I was just like, mate, you want to pilfer all your money from your viewers, man? <laughs> what an absolute legend trying to bring his YouTube community together. But I just thought that was super interesting. Bodhi was offered six bill to do that. You got to remember back in the day, that was a whole lot more than it currently is. And something we better state, I don't know if it has any legitimacy to it, but Bodhi put out a tweet asking if he should make a new hardcore Iron Man. That would be pretty hype. But a new hardcore will mean we get to one day see a new hardcore death let me know what you think of that down below now whales already received two tebos on his ultimate but there's still one very important item he's missing Ooh, hello okay where are we talking what you talking about will <laughs> And that was all we got out of the whale. A nice sigh because after 446 raids, he finally has Rigger, a very important item to combo with that Tebow. Whoopi had a nice little stack of medium caskets and he was just opening them up, but certainly did not expect to pull the double Ranger boots drop. Something I've seen once or twice before, but it is a very rare occurrence. Drake. I nearly have 1k higher rank than this guy. How am I facing him? What is wrong with this system, bruv? How am I facing him? He is lit. Look at his rank. I nearly have 1k more than this moth. I feel bad for him. Like, how, how does this work, by the way? I need to actually understand what the they have coded. Because it is actually brutal. Like, why am I fighting this guy? So, Reese wasn't too happy about getting paired up with this fella, which makes this clip all that much better. Someone that's like high rank. Oh. <laughs> So bad for him. Like, how, how does this work? A bit unlucky for Reese there, but it made for an absolutely perfect clip. And with it, the PvP arena is officially released. There's still basically no rewards for it. People aren't too happy about that. But I think overall, everyone is pretty happy to have the PvP arena in the game. And while we're speaking about the updates, there was a very sneaky update that Jagex implemented that they didn't even put on the news page on the old school RuneScape website. They just kind of snuck it in. But you can now 
change the color of the pride flower crown to represent your sexuality if you wish. And there will probably be a bunch of people saying, well, where's the flowers to wear if you're straight? Well, obviously you just don't wear one and everyone will assume that you're straight. And it seems this update is absolutely loved by the community members that it actually affects. If you're gonna have a debate in the comments section, at least try and keep it civil. Makupar is only on 17kc, but his friend gave him an early grats for no apparent reason. Why are you saying grats? Oh! <gasps> Why we see grats? <laughs> With only 17 bandos, KC, and this man pulls the super rare minions tacits, and the crowd went wild. Unfortunately, this one comes with no original audio, but I just had to show it because this group Iron Man has been grinding Corrupted Gauntlet. He has done 973 runs and finally pulls the Enhanced Crystal Seed. The man was very happy about that. What a long grind. Can parsec someone? Oh, Wabbit! Oh! Wabbit got the dust. And main Wabbit pulled that at just 85 hard modes. I'm going to say pretty spooned on that one. Good to see that Oda Block's hair is making a pretty strong recovery. And let's see how he goes in this fun little risk fight. He doesn't know he's Bud Baraga. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda got unlucky. He kinda got unlucky because it was a pit swap. Just a sneaky 34 mil for that one, but look at what Oda Block is risking. And one of Oda Block's viewers was going absolutely crazy. The clip says that the guy donated $2,000, and this is what Oda Block gave him. Oh. Oh. Only trails. Uh well, I guess skill specs wanted to change it up a little bit. And here he is using the anchor against someone in Darox and the Din's ball walk. And it's just hitting so many zeros. I don't know how many, but it was a lot. I'm BK on the pretty good run, I man. I can't lie. And skill specs has only gone and done it every time he says he's doing well at PKing. The inevitable happens, and this one was no different. I'm BK on the pretty good run, I man. I can't lie. I need to win this one. Oh my Christ. Yeah, script, bro. Honestly, man, I... Uh... <laughs> A very fast way to earn back some of his GP. Yesterday, we saw Monimu get her bandos hilt. Here she is, just testing the waters with Corp. It's lucky she's not still a hardcore. What happens? What? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Rig has had and been grinding for this elite clue scroll for about a month and hopefully it paid off. And the whole grind was for absolutely nothing and Rig was stunned. He sat there for a good minute just like that and I could have played the same track I've played on his last couple of clips but I thought I would have overused it. Sid was having a two year streaming celebration and pulled a purple on the hardcore. Okay. 17k points. What do we get? Bruh. We're CG locked. Okay. Super Zoo is very early into his armadillo grind, but sometimes that's where the best clips come from. You suck. All of you suck. Alright, that's it. Collection locks locked. No! <gasps> no! No! That's right, 17kc for a pet that is 1 out of 5,000. That is some very lucky RNG. Ludicrell was grinding out the shamans on the hardcore, and he's mid-sentence, and I love how caught out he gets. That was literally ages ago before OSR. Oh my god, no fucking way! No! No! No way! No! Absolutely not! That did not just happen! No! No way! You love to see it. What a happy man pulling that at 5.9 thousand kills. <laughs> and yes, we've definitely seen enough internet for the day. Drop a like, and if you're not sub, come join the family, and I'll see you all tomorrow.